Hi guys, thank you so much for buying my new store brush set, how to paint like gouache in Photoshop. Um, first thing you need to do here is um, import one of the color palettes that come with the set into Photoshop on the and put it into the canvas and also you put the reference in and then start with blocking in the base color for this. I did it here with a um, with the dark blue, and then I start blocking in the basic shapes as usual. <laughs> uh, I really want to um, copy the traditional gouache feeling with this brush set, so this is a combination of using the mixer brush with a heavy load set and a wet uh, set. And I really want to copy this feeling when you're painting traditional and use the um, use the colors and um, the the brushes, the color out of the tube, and you have to stretch it with water or use more dry color strokes. Uh, yeah, I really want to copy this. And um, yeah, as you can see, I'm using the wet brush here to smudge out the background a bit. Um, and also mixing the, the colors on the canvas this way. And it really works kind of like in a traditional way. I really love the mixer brush in Photoshop. It's an amazing tool, which I think it, it needs to have more attention. So what you can also do for this kind of style is really try to limit to the color palettes that are coming with my set and pick from this color palette, maybe change it slightly towards um, a more dark or more lighter tone, whatever you need, uh, but really try to limit yourself to the palette. So um, then it usually looks quite nice at the end <laughs> and ha harmonic, harmonic, in harmony, harmony, I would say. <sighs> so I'm creating an, uh, here a, a new layer for the vase. And now I'm adding in the white and smudge this all with the color that's already on the canvas. That's really, really makes a lot of fun. Really uh, switching between the, the heavy dry load and the wet load here. And also my basic acrylics that I have also a kind of jitter on them. So I get some nice um, uh, jitter color effects on points of interest where you want to have them. So I'm using this combination of the uh, threes. So now I'm building it up more and more. I'm adding in form to the shape. I'm just color picking from the colors that are here. You can also mix in some red, whatever you like. It just, just really try to copy the traditional way here be free with that. Uh, by the way, just a small side note, when you're painting on just one layer, I would recommend that you set the mixer brush setting to sample from, uh, sample not from all layers off, but if you're in the end and you want to, you will see it in the last steps that I want to smudge and then all layers because I want to have an effect on all layers, then you can just click and sample in from all layers. This way, um, it's also easier to use this method for Photoshop because if you always sample from all layers, your Photoshop can crush and get very um, slow. So just a warning, if the computer gets too slow, maybe just click off sample from all layers and it should work fine again. So now I add in all the flowers here. I accidentally had to record this twice. <laughs> you know this feeling. <laughs> but yeah, that's my second time recording this. So yeah. So this is a cool thing with layers. You can just warp things around and add them as you like. <laughs> you can't do this in traditional. So so I think next step will be the vase with the oranges uh, on. When I'm finished here with the the vase, yeah, the um, set comes with three more um, sped up um, sped up tutorials. Um,
So I really refined that vase a long time. So now I'm moving on to the vase with the orange, oranges. Starting with the basic sh uh, shape again. And then add in the round oranges with the orange I have here on the palette. <sighs> the neighbors are... How is it called when you cut the grass outside? It's really loud. I don't wonder why they are doing this. It's raining outside. <laughs> so, I don't know. Not my problem, right? Okay, so back to the painting. Yeah, I'm just adding in the white and stuff. And yeah, just the same method that I used for the blue vase. I'm not doing now for the silver vase too. Also adding the shadows with the blue and the lights, light with the uh, white again. And the orange for the oranges. <laughs> so you can watch the rest of the painting now in silence. It just was uh, to give you a quick preview. Um, of what will come with the brush set and how I use it. Um, just in summary, you can use the color palettes that come with it. You can also change the color palettes, adjust them in Photoshop. Maybe uh, if you want to have them more greenish or more bluish or reddish, you can make it uh, over with the color balance tool. Um, yeah, you can play a lot with it. And use the brushes. Um, just uh, like you can see in the sped up videos, um, change it between dry load, wet load, and just a basic brush, soft brush for getting atmospheric into the painting, um, sh adding shadows in maybe with a darken layer or create light with an overlay layer. These are the methods that I'm basically using for all of this. And yeah, I just would be very rip repetitive if I explain this over and over again but yeah you can just watch the rest um, for yourself and if you decide to buy it I wish you a lot of fun with the set and if you create something with the set I would love to see it and maybe you can also give me some feedback on these brushes how you like them I really love them I paint a lot of especially my stylized work with them and um, yeah so have fun with these and see you next time. Bye bye.